last time you loft it actually there are many different options in loft function you mean there's a kind of precise loose normal and how can you do that actually then there's an option but let's kind of so this one requires a data type options but let's check about what is the data type of option so i'll leave it hoover around then it said options loft options one locally defined value there is no way to know what it is so i simply out first i'll check options oh then actually there's a loft options comment yeah it's huge yeah it's huge yeah. <laughs> And then actually, instead of doing that, so this is one way to find what is the appropriate input type. But for now, another way is simply here, right click. And there's a function called extract parameters. And actually, you will have option data type. So this was input. This is the input for the options. And if you right mouse click, you will see uh, other loft option here. So close loft. Align section, normal. So you can select you what you want here. I will just make it normal, and then I just do just normal, and that's it. And then one thing tricky thing in Rhino, uh, Grasshopper is always whenever you change something, you have to click commit changes. If you don't click it, it will not save any options you choose. So make sure that you always click commit changes. Okay, now so far it is ready. Uh, so now probably other job is actually you have to close this top and bottom for 3D printing. How can we create a surface using those curves? Um, like plans. Plans. Huh? Yeah. So probably let's check about plans. So in here surface, let's take about let's take a look at about some primitive surface free form. Let's look, let me kind of, kind of look around something. So boundary surface, loft network surface, extrude, pipe, extrude. How about boundary surfaces or edge surface? So it looks like edge requires a kind of straight line. Boundary is just look like, well, let's take a look at it. So I will take a look at boundary and it said it only requires edges. So we have edges where? In the curve. So I will using this one, I'll connect it. Actually, this one is red. What does that mean is this one has a problem. And then it, actually there's a message. So you see that if something is red, which means there's an error. And then if you have some orange, it's kind of, it says warning. So let's check about what is the problem here. So if I take a look at, I will first check what is help file. It said edges, which is boundary curves, create planar surfaces from a collection of boundary edge curves. So what is the problem with this? Or I would try again, simply another one. Which one? The one other one is probably edge surface. I will just try that. Edge surface requires multiple curves. Or I may just test on another, another one, probably surface from point, loft, surface extrude, freeform pipe, along ruled surface, loft option, edge surface. Probably it should work, but I don't know what caused the problem. And let's see the problem. All curves failed to load, data conversion failed to wrap to curve. Huh. So actually, this one requires curve, but actually this one data type is it said is actually BRAP. So it's a little bit tricky situation now on. Curve loft, two curves, ah. So, oh, I see. Do you know what is the problem? <laughs> now I got it. <coughs> what is the problem? We need curve, but the input was lofted surface. So you need to go to the curve. Yeah, so actually this is not the one. Actually, we, what we need to do is actually connect, not this one, 
probably boundary surface there we go. using it, it and probably I will use edges so when I click it it creates two surfaces for each one so this one is what I'm talking about data type error this one is probably 99% of your errors probably so the solution is to check about data type and data errors and then I also want to check what is the output I simply control C and V and I also check what is the output and then this one create two surfaces still this one is data with one branch and also this one is one branch okay so now you are going to extend this one so again in grasshopper what is really critical is actually organizing your code visually so you can understand the algorithm of the code so one so this one is your raw code which is you generate something trials and errors you have a lot of errors so from now on 